What's going on guys, it's King Touch Pro with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create a sliding letterbox effect that you could easily apply to your footage. This could also be done in Adobe Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas, and iMovie. If you guys want me to make a tutorial for those programs with this effect, please feel free to leave a like or a comment down below. This is the effect that we will be creating. It is a letterbox effect except the bars are sliding down toward the middle, giving it an actioned theme style. You're probably wondering what keyframing is. Keyframing is a keyframe in animation and filmmaking that defines the starting and ending points of any smooth transition. The drawings are called frames because their position in time is measured in frames on a strip of film. This will give your footage an interesting effect. To create this effect, we're first going to import our footage into Final Cut Pro. Once you have done that, head over to the inspector window where you will be presented with other options that you can change manually. Go down to crop and you will have the ability to crop your footage to your liking. In this case, we will create a letterbox effect with the sliding bars. Go to the timeline and select your clip that you want to apply this effect to. Move the playhead line to the starting point in which you want the sliding bars to enter. I'm going to move it to the beginning of the clip. Once you have done that, go back to crop and where it says top, to the right of that you will see a triangle. Click that and it will turn orange. Do the same for the bottom as well since we need the top and the bottom bars to create this effect. It is currently set to zero, which is why you can't see the letterbox yet. Now, move the playhead a couple of seconds to the right, so you can set another keyframe, so we can have the sliding effect. Keep in mind that the further away the second keyframe is away from the first keyframe, the longer the effect will be and vice versa. To actually see your keyframes, or if you want to change the timing to your liking, right click on the footage and click show video animation. A new little box will appear above your video. It will show all the effects you have applied along with other presets. We are only interested in the trim section. If you notice closely, you will see triangles. Those triangles are the keyframes we have applied. You might need to zoom in to see them more easily. Go ahead and move the keyframes as to how you want it. Again, the further away they are from each other, the longer the effect will be. In short, it will be much slower. To add our second keyframe, we are going to do the same thing we did in the beginning. Go back to the crop panel in the inspector window and click the zero next to PX and set it to 100 for the top bar. Do the same for the bottom bar. We now have the letterbox effect along with the sliding bars. If you guys find an easier method to do this, please let me know in the comment section below along with any video ideas you guys have. That's it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace out and take care.